Good morning, guys. Don Yoakum here. Time for the Daily Brief. You know, the markets aren't really giving us much to go on here. Uh, we've got CPI tomorrow, but otherwise it seems pretty listless. Earnings have been a solid meh without revealing anything we didn't already know. Recession seems to be a foregone conclusion, but I don't see how anybody can claim out there that a recession is priced in the market. So anyway, there's a million ways to arrive at fully priced, but, um, you know, give me a couple minutes right here and I'll walk you through uh, one of my favorites. Uh, you may have, if you guys have been uh, reading any of my stuff, uh, those of you that get my emails, uh, you know, I've talked about this before. It's the Schiller PE ratio. So what it does is it a makes uh, some corrections that can easily get abused to give you a cleaner earnings stream than you get from typical financial statements. Uh, but it also it makes those adjustments on a real basis. So in effect, you're taking out the impacts of inflation and you get a real inflation adjusted PE ratio. All right. This goes back to 1850. Uh, and there's a couple points here. There's a couple points that I want to just highlight, right? Here we are, and this is updated as of yesterday. This is nearly at 30 on a uh, real adjusted PE ratio. And you can see that that is indeed an extreme value. We're on par with where it was back in Black Tuesday. Um, uh, uh, just a little bit off, well, a little bit high, oh, higher than, here's the great financial crisis. We're higher than we were. Um, oh, so this is, the, you know, the, the stock market collapse of this Black Tuesday here is the stock market collapse um, of the Great Depression. Right. Uh, right here is the great financial crisis of 2008. Right here is the Internet bubble. Right. Uh, Black Monday didn't quite get up to even to 20. Uh, that was in, in 1987. Right. Uh, some of you might recall that. But in any case, we have never gone above and forgive my freehand drawing here, but we've never gone above 20 without returning to at least 15. OK, so. That's a pretty steep drop from here, right? Even assuming earnings don't fall, right? Getting this PE ratio down down to 15 requires at least another 1,000 to 1,500 points on the S&P 500. That's a significant drop. What motivation we have to maintain this level in the markets or much less make them go higher, make that PE ratio, PE multiple go higher. In other words, people be willing to pay more for forward earnings than they are right now. Um, I just don't see what that is, right? Uh, but in any case, that this to me is uh, a very um, uh, solid indicator of extreme overvaluation, and it gives you a good sense of how far we got to drop, and we're not anywhere close to that. Uh, but in any case, the markets aren't uh, doing um, uh, saying anything about it. CPI comes out tomorrow. I'm not going to make any predictions. It'll be somewhere in line. You know, maybe we'll get a little bit of move. But you no, know, the key is uh, as as has been for the last eight months, nine months. It's what the Fed says after uh, what comments uh, the Fed's uh, speakers have. You know, as they speak throughout the week. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I've got a pick for you. If you're not a member of the Daily Pick, click the link below. It's only nine bucks a month, uh, and I give you a pick a day. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for another Daily Brief.